Hi Virgo, this is your Honest Homegirl, Keisha Anique, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Uh, take what resonates and what doesn't leave for another healing homie. Um, if you guys want a personal reading from me, I am open temporarily for reading. So if you would like one, look at everything in the description box below. Also, for my first time clients, I do do distant Reiki healing sessions with you. Just one, um, if you would want it. And then we can continue them if you like the results of them. Also, if you like horoscopes and live readings as well, you can follow me on Instagram at The Honest Homegirl. And let's get into your intuitive message first. Then we'll get into the divine feminine aspect of Virgo, the divine masculine aspect of Virgo. Then we'll get into the random messages that include messages from your person at the end, okay? So... Let's get into your divine, yeah, intuitive messages, Virgo. All right, so intuitively, Virgo, I do feel that a lot of you guys may be questioning uh, the stage in life that you're in. You're questioning the process of life. You're questioning uh, how things are going for you at this time. Some of you could be dealing with a teenage boy at this time or an immature male at this time, and you're just not understanding why you have to deal with this energy or why they are acting the way that they are acting you could also be dealing with someone your age or younger than you or older than you as well um for some of you the reason why you're dealing with immature energy or dealing with younger men or dealing with the sun that you have and what they're putting you through is due to the energy of father healing a lot of you guys have to understand when you heal and forgive your father for the things that they did or didn't do for you in your lifetime, you'll understand why you have the relationships that you have with men, okay? Some of you may feel like you need to do something and there's no need for you to do anything at this time, Virgo. Right now is time for self-reflection. Right now is the time for you to walk away from things that no longer serve you. Right now is the time for you to understand that, you know, you need to let go just let go of disappointment let go of abandonment issues let go of old emotions that you keep holding on to that you just seem to just want to keep holding on to uh for some of you you need to learn how to forgive or someone needs to forgive you okay i do feel for a lot of you though you are the one um being judged some of you may even the father healing that i'm getting could be with father god or something like that if that's what you call God or whatever the case may be, you may feel like judgment day is coming to you soon and you need to be forgiven. You want to repent your sins. You want to um, just be in the energy of being healed, okay? I do feel though, if you have a lot of um, things going on in your life, you could be really praying for help at this time on making a decision. And for others of you, you're doing a lot of self-reflection, a lot of self-realization on why things are happening the way that they're happening. But at the same time, you don't want to trust that you have to go through this in order to heal. Okay, you will continue to learn the lessons. You will continue to experience pain. You'll continue to sit there and experience disappointment and frustrations until you get it, okay? And right now, it's not more of action. It's more of you sitting still and going within, okay? And having those conversations with God. But let's get into your um, divine feminine energy at this time, okay? What is going on with Virgo? Okay, so some of you, you are being divinely guided. If you think that your father is not around you, if he's passed, he is. He's divinely guiding you um, to do what's necessary for you. Or this could be a male uncle or a father-like figure, a grandfather that is around you at this time protecting you. This person wants you to focus more on um, patience, determination to get things done. Uh, personal growth at this time. They want you to understand why 
uh, things happen the way that they happened with your father. They want you to understand why you have the relationships that you have with men. This stuff all stems from your childhood with your father, okay? I think Gemini also has something with father healing as well. So if you do have Gemini in your natal chart, go check out the Gemini reading. Um, or if, especially if you have Gemini in your Mars, Gemini in your Venus, Gemini in your moon, um, Gemini in your north node, okay? Definitely look at the Gemini reading. For others of you, if you'd like to listen to the Gemini reading, you're more than welcome to listen to it, but those placements, definitely look at it. Some of you could be being divinely guided to a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo male at this time. You may need to have a conversation with them. You may need to understand or realize why everything happened the way that they happened. Because I do feel like there is an energy of not moving away. Because this is usually, well, this is going to the past. But with it being in the reverse, this is the energy of um, this person not going away, but you are being divinely guided to move away from this energy. Okay, they may try to keep you stuck and stagnant at this time, but I do feel that you're being protected by this, um, by uh, being protected from this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person here. Okay, if you worried about your finances or your money or anything like that, that is being protected as well. Okay. Yeah, see, you came out with your own energy. You're being divinely guided to go within. Okay, Virgo, it's time for you to step back for a little bit. Do some deep meditations. Do a lot of soul searching at this time. Take a break from chaos and a busy life, okay? It's time to rest, Virgo, even though rest does not even belong in your dictionary. But you need to sit there and take this time, okay? You may not want to take this time because you feel like you're going to be unproductive or things are going to move slowly. No, they want you to sit still because there's something that you need to understand about your relationship with you and your father and why things have transpired in your life the way that they have. Yeah, it's time for you to because some of you really have been in your divine feminine energy, too. And you haven't been tapped into your divine masculine energy. And for some of you, you're realizing that you need to have a balance between the two. Okay, for some of you, you're going to finally be determined at resting. <laughs> okay, uh, some of you may want to even in, uh, invest in doing things that give you passive income so you don't have to work as hard. Okay, you want to work harder. I mean, you want to work smarter, not harder, because I feel like with this divine masculine energy, it's like they're trying to tell you, like, listen, you don't have to work so hard. You need to just learn how to have passive income that can come in while you're sleeping because you need to rest, Virgo. Okay, some of you guys, like I said, you may have triggered this Capricorn Taurus or Virgo male to do some deep inner healing, some deep, you know, reflections within themselves because of how they've treated you because you're choosing to move away from this energy. Okay, you could be physically moving away from this person, away from a town, a state, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, some of, I'm hearing that song by Maya. Ah. Moving on, on, moving on, 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 moving on, on, on. <laughs> you could, yeah, you could have been moving on from this person. You could have been married to this person or been in a long term committed relationship with this person. Some of you are determined to sit there and have a successful marriage with this person. Okay. Don't sit there and be staying in no marriage because I did have made a post on Twitter maybe a year or two ago about how people um, will stay in relationships um, and marriages because just because they don't want to be just like their family members and getting divorced or not staying together forever type of thing. Don't get yourself caught up in that energy because if it's not a healing situation, a, a, a situation where you both can grow and you can right your wrongs with one another and this person is abusing you in some way, shape or form or using you in some shape or form, why would you want to sit there and be committed to that? And it's crazy because I was listening to this guy. I can't remember his name right now on Instagram, but he does astrology horoscopes all the time. And he always talks about how Virgo will sit there and stay in a situation to it to, until the point of death and its detriment. Like, it's so detrimental that it will cause you to die type of energy. Like, you've dealt with this type of energy or this was a person you were married to in the past, okay? 
This could be also an ex-husband of yours or if you're a widow or whatever the case may be. Like this person wants you to know that it's okay to move on. It's okay for you to sit there and um, love yourself, okay? It's okay to uh, be fearless. It's okay to um, have compassion for somebody else. It's okay to move on with this Leo. You could be moving on to a Leo after, you know, you've your husband may have passed away. Okay, for some of you, there this person is trying to guide you to uh, do something in the month of August. Okay, so something could have happened in the month of August with someone that has passed away. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces male as well. And this is leading to commitment or you are already in a serious commitment with this person and it's going to a higher commitment in the month of August. So congratulations if you guys are getting married, if you guys are getting engaged, if you guys, you know, are renewing your vows, okay, or celebrating an anniversary, congratulations. For some of you, I do feel, Virgo, you guys are definitely on the move okay you are determined to travel okay so you may have made travel plans and that's going to fall through for you possibly for your birthday um i do feel that with you not looking back and moving forward you finally completed a cycle with someone okay and you may have completed this cycle due to you realizing your relationship with your father your father could be a leo Yeah, I keep hearing moving on. Like, I feel like you're taking your emotions that you need to keep with you, whether it's you have an inner strength, you knowing that you are going to be okay. Like, you're taking the energy that and the emotions that are going to benefit you, and you're going to sit there and pack light. Like, I'm hearing that song, Bag Lady, but you're like, uh uh, I'm not carrying all them bags with me. I'm going to sit there and get on this motorcycle because a motorcycle can't carry but so much but a knapsack on my back. And that's what I'm doing. I'm getting the full energy because I do feel like there is a lot of you wanting to be in control. You wanting to have the willpower to do something. You wanting to build your confidence or having the confidence to stick up for yourself, say something. Some of you, you just want to travel. Okay. I feel like in the month of August or something or September, like you guys just want to travel. Okay, you may be traveling for your birthdays because there I think there are Virgos at the end of August, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's what you're probably doing. Okay. You want to travel. And you're gonna have fun doing it. Ain't nobody gonna be able to stop you. Who won't check you, boo? Nobody. <laughs> All right. Let's get into the divine masculine energy for Virgo. What's going on with the Divine Masculine Energy of Virgo? Okay, so the Divine Masculine Energy of Virgo, or this is just my Virgo females as well, um, you're taking the action to healing from the past, okay? Whether that stems from your childhood, your adolescent years with your first boyfriend or your first college boyfriend. Yeah, but you're kind of unsure about this on how to go about healing for some of you. You don't want to feel empty inside because you know when it comes to you healing, you're eliminating and clearing out them skeleton closets. But when it comes to you uh, not knowing what's on the other side. The other side is infinite possibilities. When I see the zero card, this is a reset. This is you starting all over again. And you can fill it up with whatever you want to fill it up with, whether it's good or bad. But I do feel if you're going to choose to heal, you're going to have the infinite possibilities of being able to be happy and doing whatever it is that you want to do that lights you up inside. Okay? I do feel you are very slow to healing. Okay? You're very slow to move towards healing from the past. Some of you don't want to revisit the past because of how it made you feel in the past or how your father may have made you feel in the past. But this is something that needs to be complete. You're unsure about this. You're questioning it. But this is unfinished business that you needed to do a long time ago. Yeah, some of you have been playing games. Okay? Some of you, you want to just start over and just go have fun. All right? 
when it comes to healing a situation from the past, it's very slow to come in together. It's very slow to bring in harmony to the situation. Um, it's very slow to um, you just actually deciding on healing. Are you going to heal or not? You know, like that's what you... It's either you're going to stay where you are or worsen it, or you're going to choose to heal and get better and bring happiness into your life. Satisfaction, fulfillment, okay? Some of you are unsure about um, a financial situation here, okay? You have unfinished business with someone. You may owe somebody something. You may need to pay something off as well. Some of you are unsure if you've paid something or not. I do feel here too, when it comes to um, decisions that you have to do when it comes to finances, you're going to love the decision that you make. Um, for others of you, this is you bring in harmony to a financial situation with a loved one, or this is just you um, balance and out your finances because that's something that you just love to do. Okay, you want to always make sure that everything is in order, everything is correct. Um, I do feel some of you guys may be changing your partners or finding somebody new. Some of you could be giving birth or thinking about having another child, okay? Um, I do see some of you may want to expand your families, but not just yet. I do feel that... Um, some of you still are playing the field here where it's like, you're like, mm, I ain't really too sure if I want to finish playing the field or not yet. I still got a few things I want to try. I mean, if you know this about yourself, just make sure you don't get into no solid commitment with anybody. If you know that you're still playing the field, you let these people know, listen, I'm still dating everybody. I'm dating you all. Okay. And if they still want to be on board after you telling them the honest God's truth, then that's okay. It's okay for you to take your time before you decide to say, okay, I'm going to turn my player card in. That's fine. There's some unfinished business with a loved one here that you need to heal from the past. And I do feel like this has something to do with your father or your husband or something. You may feel incomplete about something that you loved from the past. For others of you, I just feel like it's going to come a time when you're going to have to realize that only you can complete you. A person, place, or thing will not complete you. No matter where you are, you will still feel incomplete until you work on completing yourself. You have to sit there and learn how to grow with or without someone. You have to learn how to be happy with or without someone. You have to learn how to be financially stable with or without someone. You have to learn that everything starts with you and ends with you. So you have unfinished business with yourself. Okay? Can't nobody uh, make you happy but you, Virgo. Now, let's get your random messages. We'll start with the messages from your person or messages that you may want to say to somebody. Okay. What are the random messages for Virgo? Somebody want to know if you swallow. <laughs> somebody over here is giving out fellatio. You be slob on the knob, like corn on the cob. Chemistry is real between the two. That's probably why y'all be swallowing. It says, give me a second chance, please. Okay, if somebody messed up, they want a second chance. It says, this dick ain't for free. So somebody is over here paying to get some. And then we have West Side. Somebody could be from the West Side. I miss you. I better not catch you with anyone. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. It says, pussy be controlling me. You can't replace me. Make your passion your paycheck. Some of you are taking a risk. Let me put the head in. It says, please come back. Something is a forbidden fruit, whether that's you or someone else. It says, somebody's been having nightmares. Somebody's bipolar. Will you marry me? 
I play music to express how I feel. I did say that somebody... Was that Gemini's reader or was it Virgo's reader when I said somebody wants to get married with a commitment? But somebody going to be having a higher commitment. It says, so are you talking about me? Deja vu. You let me hit and I let you down. I did it all for you. Take care of yourself. Twisted mind. You broke your own heart. Some of you need to invest in some uh, quality shoes. It says, let's try this again. Psych. You, me, and Hennessy. So somebody wants to have a good time and drink with you. Maybe after that, you'll start swallowing. Who knows? Um, <laughs> some of you, you're dealing with someone that really loves you. Someone that, you know, may have hurt you in a way. Or you really, technically, the truth is that you've, you've hurt yourself. Okay? You may think this person let you down, but really, you let yourself down. Okay? And then there's somebody that wants to really have a higher commitment with you. Others of you, you could be dealing with being bipolar or dealing with someone that's bipolar with this twisted mind. And it says, I'm healing because of you. So you could be, could have triggered someone to heal or someone has triggered you to heal. And some of you are dealing with karma. Whether that karma is good or bad, that depends on how you've been as a person towards other people. And that's probably why some of y'all is over here praying for forgiveness and repenting at this time. Because you know you've done people dirty in your life. Some of you have been selfish, okay? And you're dealing with what you're dealing with now. Some of you have done right by people, and that's why you have good things coming to you. Some of you did a little bit of both, and that's why you're dealing with a little bit of both. Either way, it is what it is. Um, let's get some positive, a positive affirmation from Virgo. We have power, okay? I am strong. I am grounded. I am powerful. I am a cross between a dinosaur and a tank. But not a tank that is used for war. I'm like a peaceful, loving dino tank who feels so strong it doesn't need to do anything but be. Yeah, see, I already told you guys, there's nothing for you to do but to be still, okay? Go within. Have those conversations with God. Self-employment. Some of you, you need to take a risk, okay? It may be risky being a self, being self-employed and not starting a business, but guess what? You'll be more fulfilled with being the boss, okay? It says you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. Some of you could be a spiritualist. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have watch your thoughts. It's important you only think about what you desire, not what you fear, because you will manifest that for yourselves. Let's get some homegirl advice and we will wrap this up. A month from now, okay? It says change is good it keeps your ass from being stagnant all right you want newness to come into your life you want good things to come into your life well you got to change for the better all right we have new moon is a prominent time for you trust okay because you haven't been trusting the process it says you've met your match and you don't like it they are mirroring you whether this is with family friends or lovers it says stop lying to yourself and then we have mommy issues. So some of you have daddy issues. Some of you have mommy issues. And somebody is full of shit if you were wondering, okay? Trust that they are. When people show you who they are the first time, believe it. But guys, that was your reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you later.